Welcome to SelfDiscoveryWisdom.com, formerly known as Self Discovery Media. On these podcasts, you're going to hear people who speak from the heart. They've taken the journey in life. Many things have happened to them, but they've changed it to happening for them. And in their strength, their courage, they've discovered their abilities and their wisdom, and they are now sharing it here with you. Do enjoy each show. We bring it to you with love and knowing that it's going to help you on your journey of life. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Sarah's View of Life right here on selfdiscoverywisdom.com. I'm your host, Sarah Troy. I missed the show last week, just was way too busy looking after grandkids and doing shows and juggling life. This week, not much is different, but it's always about fitting in the time, isn't it? This is the thing about life. Sometimes we cannot do what we want to do in the moment. And sometimes we have to be a bit more flexible and reach out and go and do things at a different time. That's what life is all about. So I'm rather inundated right now with grandkids and weddings coming up and birthdays and things like that. And as I said earlier that I was going to take some time off, um, A, to unpack my stuff and try and find spaces for it. I'm still moving in and trying to settle in and make things work. But also, um, you know, it's it's also about kind of getting to know my new city, which I haven't had a chance to do yet. So bit by bit getting there, but taking some time off to do it, which doesn't always work either. How do we make it work? How do we prioritize our time to make sure we do have time to do the things that we want to do and and also to have a social life? And sometimes in that wonderful gift of nothingness, nothing planned, doing nothing, no expectation, just being, just going, just doing, or just doing nothing which is absolutely wonderful. And we need to allow ourselves to have those type of days because if we don't, we're not rejuvenating. We're too busy chasing and we're not allowing ourselves to kind of just be and settle in. I know it is something that myself, uh, I am a bit guilty of, that I'm not allowing the time this weekend, uh, this last weekend, because the show comes out next week, is um, is about going to get new glasses. Um, and it's about last minute stuff to do with the wedding. And it's also about unpacking uh, some of my stuff in storage there to find a home for it and find things that I haven't yet found that I know I have somewhere, but where is it? And just take some time to do that. So let's make the time for our lives, right? Make the time, not everything's about work or family. Sometimes we just need to have the time for ourselves and make it happen. So I'm going to try and make it happen this weekend. The following weekend, I'm going to go and see my lovely little Audrey, the person I lived with for five and a half years and celebrate her 91st birthday. Stay over for the night and then come back and then back to work and back to life. And very, very soon I should be going over to the mainland for my son's wedding. That's in three weeks. So again, a lot to do. How do we prioritize do we do it in a, in a format? Well, I'm not going to book anything this day. I'm going to do something this day. Or do we just say, okay, a day is coming. I'm allowing not nothing, just blank. Um, it's hard to do. And as I said, I know I find it very difficult to do because of all these things that I know I've got to be doing and I shouldn't be taking any time off. The other thing we've got here is that it's so hot. We've had temperatures up in the 30s, and I'm afraid I'm not wired for that. I'm British. Look at me, I'm white. And so the hot sun is something that's rather a killer for me rather than being something that a lot of people like, but not me. I need cooler temperatures to be productive. So maybe I should go and see a movie. Wow, what a concept. Go off to a cinema, nice and cool in the air conditioning and watch a movie and be entertained for a couple of hours. Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe. So what is it that we want to do? What are the things on that? I'd like to do that one day. And how to make that one day something closer? And it's not something I'm in discovery of. And I'd love some suggestions. I am not a gold personality where I'm extremely organized and know where everything is at every time and all of that. No, I'm a free spirit, a free wind. I go with the wind, I go with the flow. 
but it's also how do I have that flow lead me to something that is also being productive in something I need. So if you're a flow person and you find difficulty in bringing that structure around where you're allowing yourself to have time, but you know you've got things you've got to do. So do share what you do. Please do share in the comments what you do, because I would love to know how to manage this. I've got so much on my agenda. We have got Be Our Next Author book, all about coaches. It's um, Mastering Self-Discovery, Wisdom for Renowned Coaches. And the book we're putting together, and we have a special offer to the end of the month for the early birds. The book will start being produced in September. I've got that to promote. I've got the shows to promote. I've still got Our Forgotten Children book to promote. And please, do support this book. And, and all of these things, and of course, my grandchildren and my family and all of that. And it's like, how do you take that time to be with self and do things without feeling guilty of all the other things that you know you should be doing? It's very important we rejuvenate ourselves and have some fun and take some time out. But sometimes we don't allow ourselves to do that because of all the shoulds. Oh, you really got to. You know you should pay attention on that. Have you done that yet? And how do we kind of pace ourselves in that way and uh, look at it as, um, you know, this is a priority too. Rejuvenation, looking at what you need, taking a moment. All of that is extremely important. So let us look at ways that we can do that guilt-free giving ourselves the time to go and do something for ourselves and still have the time to go and get things done that we want to go and get done. Time management. But also in that time management, how do we allow ourselves those moments of, no, I cannot do that right now because the energy is not with me or energy is with me to go and do that right now. But these other things are wanting to be done. The balance. <laughs> it's always the balance. How do we do it? So if you've got any ideas, I would love to hear it. This is just a quick show this week. As I said, I, as I've said, I've got a lot on my plate. I've got a clean house as well. Um, so it's finding that balance to have some playtime and to me time and, and then the time to go and do what you need to do time. And, uh, you know, looking at all of that, um, we do need a reminder now and again, don't we? A reminder that it's okay to take some time. It's okay to say no to something. It's okay that you didn't get that something done today. There's always either tomorrow or next week. Is it a priority? Will the world come crashing down if it's not done? And it is what it is. But again, if you want to be a part of our new anthology book, Be Our Next Author, go to orchardofwisdom.org and look at the tag, Be Our Next Author, or the orchardofwisdom.com on the front page. You'll see the invitation to be our author and come and sign up, come and join us, come and have a conversation with us because we're here to support you on the books uh, with the podcast and uh, about getting what you're doing out there. In the meantime, I'm going to try and get things done because I said July and August, I've got to get these personal things done. So September, I'm really back at it. And time is clicking. My goodness, look where we are in July already. So it's really prioritizing and taking that time and deciding what to do with it. And also, does it really need to be done right now? Is that just a desire that you would like to get it done? But does it really need to be only I can answer that. And some things are really, yes, I've got to get that. And other things, no, it can wait until later. So prioritize you. I'm going to prioritize me. I'm going to take at least one day. That is for moi. Switch the phone off. Nobody can call me. I'm going to go and do what I want to do. Potter, potter. Get to know this city. Go for coffee. Drive around a bit. Maybe catch a movie. Whatever and just do it for me. And then on Sunday, I will clean and sort and try and find things and put things away and get ready for the following week. <laughs> but one day is for me. What day is for you? Now, remember, if you want to reach out to me to inquire about the book, to inquire about being on a podcast with me, just to inquire about anything, reach out to self discoverywisdom at gmail.com. And I'm happy 
to have a conversation with you. Be kind to yourself. Go and do something for yourself. No guilt. Prioritize only the things that need to be prioritized, but remember you're a priority as well. Be kind to you. Until next time, folks. Bye for now. We hope that you enjoyed the show. There are so many more for you here on selfdiscoverywisdom.com. Just go to the podcast tag at the top there and you will see all the many genres and all 3,000 shows ready for your listening. We are here to serve you, to help you on your journey of life. And we know that through inspiration, it begets invitation. We are supported by you, the listeners, and those that we interview. Anything that you can spare us in donation will be greatly accepted. And we do hope that you enjoy the next show.